The world's gaze once again turns toward the British royal family, but this time, it isn't because of public appearances or grand events. An internal conflict, marked by high stakes and deep emotions, is unfolding within palace walls, revealing tensions that have been simmering for years. At the heart of the issue is the inheritance of Queen Elizabeth II's personal jewelry collection, over 300 pieces filled with history, love, and legacy, which has now found its way into the possession of Princess Catherine, the Princess of Wales. Yet, what should have been a smooth transition of royal treasures has instead sparked a wave of emotional intensity, driven by Queen Camilla's disapproval and a struggle over not just jewels, but legacy, power, and relationships. Princess Catherine, beloved by the public for her grace and calm composure, finds herself in the center of a storm she didn't create. The jewelry she inherited from the late Queen Elizabeth II is far more than glittering diamonds and gleaming pearls. They are potent symbols of the late monarch's life, her reign, and her unwavering service to the country. Catherine's decision to wear some of these iconic pieces is seen as a tribute, a way of honoring the woman who redefined what it meant to be queen in the modern world. The public and royal watchers have already noted the significance of Catherine's choice, these jewels are not mere accessories, they are symbols of continuity, respect and duty. However, what is unfolding behind the scenes has proven more complicated than simply donning the jewels. Queen Camilla, the queen consort, is reportedly upset over Princess Catherine's choices, a frustration that has built up over recent months. According to insiders, Camilla had expected a different distribution of these jewels, one that perhaps better reflected her own position within the royal family. Her displeasure, described by many as intense and simmering, is rooted in more than just the jewels themselves. For Camilla, it seems to be about the deeper message that wearing the late queen's jewels conveys, about status, power, and the shaping of the monarchy's future. The conflict between Camilla and Catherine has, without a doubt, created a ripple effect within the palace, adding to the tension that already exists between tradition and change. To complicate matters further, King Charles has recently shifted certain powers within the royal family. In a bold move that reflects his trust in his eldest son, Prince William, King Charles has delegated significant responsibilities to him, including the oversight of royal finances. One of Prince William's decisions was to remove 22 of Queen Camilla's relatives from the royal payroll, an action that many saw as a clear sign of a shift in the royal family's inner workings. This decision, seen by some as necessary and others as ruthless, has added more fuel to the fire, making Camilla's frustration over the jewelry even more pronounced. As preparations for the upcoming diplomatic reception and Earthshot Prize ceremony intensify, the question of who wears what jewels has taken on a life of its own. Catherine's team is working tirelessly to ensure that everything is perfect for these events, but the strain is starting to show. Behind closed doors, there is stress, worry, and the sense that the jewelry issue may become a flashpoint for something much larger. The jewels, after all, are not just beautiful adornments, they carry with them the weight of history, of decisions made by monarchs long gone, and of the expectations of a public that watches every move the royals make. In particular, two stunning pieces have emerged as focal points in this ongoing drama, the Nizam of Hyderabad necklace and George's festoon necklace. The Nizam of Hyderabad necklace, valued at over $66 million, was a wedding gift to Queen Elizabeth in 1947 and is one of the most precious items in the collection. Princess Catherine has worn it on several occasions, and each time she does, it sends a powerful message, one of elegance, history, and a connection to the late Queen's legacy. The George's festoon necklace, adorned with pearls and diamonds, is equally symbolic. When Catherine wore it during Queen Elizabeth's funeral procession, the world was reminded of the enduring ties between the generations of royal women and the timeless traditions they uphold. Yet, despite the grandeur and beauty of these jewels, what lies beneath the surface is a more human story, one of desires, emotions, and the delicate balance of family dynamics. Camilla's dissatisfaction is not just about the jewels. It's about a deeper fear of losing her place in the intricate web of royal tradition. The jewels, for Camilla, represent a piece of that tradition she feels slipping away. Meanwhile, Princess Catherine, 
who has always remained dignified and composed, is striving to honor the late queen in a way that feels authentic and true to her. As whispers of tension continue to spread, the public is divided. Many rally behind Catherine, praising her for her elegance and her decision to honor Queen Elizabeth by wearing her jewels. Social media has been flooded with comments of support, with one user stating, Catherine deserves to wear these jewels, they were given to her as a sign of the Queen's respect and love. Another added, Camilla needs to respect Queen Elizabeth's wishes and stop making this about herself. But not everyone sees the situation in black and white. Some have expressed sympathy for Queen Camilla, understanding her desire to maintain her place within the royal family's complex hierarchy. Camilla has been part of the royal family for many years, she has her own connection to these jewels and to the legacy they represent," wrote one commenter. The public debate, much like the conflict within the palace, is rooted in questions of tradition, legacy, and change. In the coming weeks, the royal family will face some of the most significant events of the year, and how this jewelry issue is resolved could set the tone for the future of the monarchy. The stakes are high and the emotional undercurrents are undeniable. Will Catherine continue to wear the jewels as a tribute to the late queen, or will there be a behind-the-scenes compromise to ease the tensions with Camilla? The decisions made in the coming days will not only impact the royal family's internal dynamics, but will also shape how the public perceives them moving forward. Despite the tension, there is hope that this situation can be resolved with grace, as the British monarchy has done time and time again. Princess Catherine's commitment to honoring Queen Elizabeth is clear, and her choices in wearing the jewels reflect a deep respect for the values the late Queen stood for. At the same time, there is room for understanding and reconciliation with Queen Camilla, whose own journey within the royal family has not been without its challenges. In the end, what remains most important is the legacy of Queen Elizabeth II, a legacy of service, strength, and unity. The jewels, though glittering and beautiful, are only part of that legacy. The true inheritance lies in how the royal family continues to move forward, united, and dedicated to the ideals that Queen Elizabeth embodied. As Princess Catherine, the beloved Princess of Wales, inherits a significant portion of Queen Elizabeth's personal jewellery collection, Queen Camilla's displeasure has become a focal point of rising tensions within the monarchy. For those observing from the outside, it's a classic tale of family and tradition, but behind the royal veneer lies a personal and emotional struggle between two influential women, each trying to honor their place in the royal hierarchy. On one side is Catherine, stepping into her expanding role with grace, elegance, and quiet strength. On the other is Queen Camilla, the wife of King Charles III, feeling slighted, navigating her position as consort, and wrestling with the new realities of her role in the royal family. The jewels in question are not merely glittering symbols of wealth, they hold profound emotional significance, representing continuity, history, and the deep bond between Catherine and the late Queen Elizabeth II. These are not simply accessories, each piece tells a story of the monarchy's enduring presence, the weight of duty, and the personal connections that knit the royal family together. Sources close to the palace reveal that the distribution of these jewels has sparked disagreement, with Queen Camilla allegedly harboring a desire for many of these treasured artifacts herself. As Princess Catherine prepares to wear these pieces at high-profile events in the coming months, including the diplomatic reception, an Earthshot Prize ceremony, Camilla's frustrations have reportedly surfaced in private, creating a subtle yet unmistakable rift. Catherine's choice of jewels, such as the Nizam of Hyderabad necklace and the George's Festoon necklace, prized possessions of Queen Elizabeth, have caught the eye of the public, but within the palace, these selections carry deeper meaning. With an estimated worth of over $66 million, the Nizam necklace is not just a piece of jewelry, it is a reminder of Queen Elizabeth's strength and the legacy she leaves behind. Every time Catherine steps out adorned in these treasures, 
it's a tribute to the Queen, a quiet yet powerful statement of loyalty and respect. But for Camilla, these moments of tribute come with a sting. Her long-standing connection to the royal family, her years of service, and her own aspirations as queen consort leave her feeling sidelined in this evolving royal narrative. Some say that the transfer of the jewels, once thought to be naturally destined for the queen consort, has caught her off guard, leaving her frustrated, and at times, outraged by the shift in royal customs. Behind the sparkle of diamonds and the sheen of pearls, a story of family dynamics and power struggles is unfolding. King Charles, in his own quiet manner, has made significant decisions that ripple through the palace. One such decision was delegating more power to Prince William, who recently removed 22 of Queen Camilla's relatives from the royal payroll. This strategic reshuffling, coupled with Catherine's newfound prominence through her jewellery inheritance, has deepened the fault lines within the family. Royal historians are quick to remind the public that such disputes are not new within royal circles. The distribution of jewels has long been a point of contention, representing not just personal treasures, but also the shifting tides of influence and authority within the monarchy. In this instance, it seems the jewels are more than objects of beauty, they are emblematic of a deeper conversation about legacy, tradition, and the future of the British royal family. For Catherine, this situation must be bittersweet. On one hand, she is seen as a modern icon of royalty, beloved by the public for her grace, her dignity, and her tireless commitment to the causes she champions. On the other hand, she must navigate the delicate web of royal protocol and familial relationships, always walking a fine line between respect for tradition and asserting her role in a rapidly evolving monarchy. Queen Camilla, too, finds herself in an unenviable position. As the Queen Consort, her place in the royal pecking order has long been established, but this recent shift in jewellery ownership, particularly with Queen Elizabeth's collection, has left her